सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल तो आज हम एक चल हा वीडियो इंग्लिश मध्य अपन कर एक मिनट ठीक है सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू चेक अवर इंग्लिश स्किल्स की की ना इंग्लिश स्किल्स दैट हाउ मच वी नो इंग्लिश सो वी विल टेक अ टेस्ट दिस वीडियो वॉज अवेलेबल ऑन यूट्यूब आई हैव डाउनलोडेड इट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट की we are going to find it out how much english do we know usually we don't speak english in day to day life obviously because friends friends speak marathi language and commonly marathi we, we only speak marathi between our friends nowadays like in colleges also we don't usually use english in day to day conversations with our teachers also but uh, sometimes like uh, for our presentation or if you want to give like answers we then use then only use we english right then only we use english so our english skills is not english skills are not pretty good right now but uh, we will try to improve because in future uh, obviously if we want to uh, uh, like interviews for jobs we need english we need f- fluent english right so for that reason uh, like i had just an idea i just had an idea ki uh, just had an idea that we can have a test kind of and we, sh- we we will find it out ki we will find it out that how much english do we know right now and we will try to improve according to the time right because we still have two years so i think it should be enough time to improve the english but uh, i think we are still pretty good because english medium school because i was in english medium school but this kind of mistake like sentence formation uh, i don't get it suddenly i have to think of the sentence formation so let's see uh, i talked very much in the intro like yeah and uh, this jugad don't laugh at this jugad because this is struggle days so yes my hair sir getting long i have to cut also that daddy i mean beard okay so let's uh, begin the test uh, let me i have not uh, i hadn't watched this video previously in my life so i am watching this first time with you guys so try to uh, like try to do with me also like you will also get to know your level of english because english is a universal language bro everybody need uh, in today's generation everybody should no some decent english speaking wagera speaking yes so yes oh, okay so let's start already we are 3 minute inside video is also like 10 minutes around okay let's go hello lovely students and welcome back to english with lucy today is an incredibly important lesson we are finally going to work out what your english level is a1 a2 b1 b2 or even C1 C1, C2. or the top level C2. So if anybody don't know, these are uh, languages level like six level are there A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. Starting from low to high, like yes. So A1 is the easiest and C2 is hardest, like yeah. It's so important to know and understand your level of English because it helps you decide how to proceed. with your learning journey. In this lesson we are going to go through a couple of questions at each level so you can understand your English ability. However, if you want to take this really seriously, I have created a really in-depth free online level test. This will more accurately measure your English level. If you would like to take the free level test, just click on the link in the description box. Quickly, let's just revisit what the CEFR levels actually are. This is the common European framework of reference. It divides English into six levels. Okay. We have A1 and A2, the beginner levels with A1 yeah. considered absolute beginner. We have B1 and B2, the intermediate levels, and then C1 and C2 the advanced uh, here there is not C2 even option is a near oh, yes, native level of language all right let's get started okay, with okay. this test she, she we'll start with the beginner questions and yes. work our way up to the advanced look uh, if the time is less i will pause the video because i need to think because we obviously try to be at a, as accurate as possible 
questions. I'll give you a few seconds to think about each answer before revealing the correct answer and make sure you share your results in the comment section down below. Okay, A1, question one. Okay. She, to read books she, every day. She likes to read a book. She likes to read a book every day. B, option B. It should be B, likes. Okay. She <laughs> likes to read books every day. Number two, I have... Good start, good start, guys. I have two brothers, I have two sisters and one brother, two sisters. Two. Option D. And one brother. Option D. Which answer is correct? Two sister, option D. Right, na? It should be D, sisters. Hmm. I have two sisters <clears throat> and one brother. And number three. Hmm. I can't see very well. Have you seen my... Glasses. What should it be? Option C. Option C, na? It should be C, oh. <laughs> glasses. Okay, if you pass those three questions, it's mm. likely you have an A1 level. Bro, we have A1. But let's test for A2. Congratulations, agar to, congratulations if you have passed A1 level with me. Because as you guys see, I have passed A1 level. So we have A1 level. So now let's start with A2 and all the best for you guys also. Okay, let's go. One, my mum is then my dad. Taller. Option B. Option B. Because they are comparing, right? It should be B. Taller. My mum is taller than my dad. If taller. you study, you, you the test. You, you what pass should it this. be? You will pass. You will pass. Option A. Option A. Option A. Lock karo. A lock? It should be A. Will pass. <laughs> if you study, you will pass the test. Okay. And number three. Final which question. Which of these sentences is correct i am interested to go to cinema we are I'll planning give you a bit to... of extra time here ne pause kar do na tu extra time dete the english i pause the video so i take extra time myself i am interested to go to cinema i am interested to go to the cinema interested to go to go to interested to go go to <laughs> We are plan. We are planning going to the shops. We are planning going. Up. Second one is incorrect. They want to go with us. Nah, they want to come with us, right? They want to go with them. And we should be. And yeah, you sh you should be. To going, you should be to going to school now. Though that's wrong. Option A is correct. I am interested to go to the cinema. Option A. It should be C. They want to go with us. Did you? What? They want to go with us. Hey. They want to go with us. Yeah, that also makes sense. They want to go with us. But first one. I am not interested to go to the cinema. I am not interested to go to the cinema. Is that wrong? So what's the correct one? Comment. Tell me in the comment section what's the uh, correct sentence for the first one. I am not interested to go to the cinema. Language switch. Manje mala interest nahi hai. I am not interested. To go to the cinema. I mean, cinema is not an interest in the cinema. Logic is not an interest in the cinema. I don't know, bro. Let's continue. We have failed. We have failed A2. It should be C. They want to go with us. Did you get everything right? If so, it's likely you have an A2 level. If you want to know for sure, I recommend taking my free in-depth level test the link is in the description box let's move on to the intermediate levels firstly B1. we will still continue number one because jared early in the afternoon which jared one's correct will be arriving will arrive is arrived to arrive option b will be arriving it should be b will yeah. be arriving jared will, will be, be arriving, arriving early in Future the afternoon tense, right? let's try number two which question was most likely asked 
based on this response. I have never been to Paris. Here are the Nine options. Which Paris question have, was it? Have you been going to Paris? Have, have you? I have never. Option D, option D. Option it should D. be D. Have you ever been to Paris? And yes. three, report the sentence correctly. I have to work tomorrow. Which one should it be? Thamna, yaar, five seconds. Dete, but she only gives five seconds, bro. How can we read these lines within five seconds? He said he I have to work tomorrow. Report, report. What is the meaning of report? He said that he had. Acha, okay. Sorry. I have to work tomorrow. I have to work tomorrow. He said he has. He has to work tomorrow. He says he had. He says. He says I have to work tomorrow. He says he had to work. Tomorrow. First and second looks same actually because I don't know. He is saying. He is saying to. He is saying he had to work tomorrow. He said. He said B had. He said he had to work following day. Of A B C, the I think the correct option is between A B and C. D is not correct. I think. I have to work tomorrow. He said, like the person said, right? So option A will be correct. I think because he says. Says is not going well. With the sentence, and he is saying also not goes with the sentence because that is present tense, right? And I have to work tomorrow. He said already, so I think he said, he said he has to work. Option A. Option A. It should be D. He said he had to work <laughs> the following. Bro, the the last option we kicked out. Like, uh, uh, we said that it is incorrect, and the correct one is that only. Like previous also. That mistake also was like that, bro. He said he had to work the following day. Bro, it is same only now. But actually, the difference is, uh, मतलब मतलब actually the difference between the levels are like you can you can be inaccurate while speaking at lower levels like this because uh if you say to an if you say Uh, this four sentence to any normal person, he he will get the same meaning, right? Because he it doesn't make any difference majorly. But at the level you are studying, uh, it makes difference, right? Because here he she gives four four options, so like there must be some differences between the options, and sh- and there's one correct one, right? And there are three incorrect. So I don't know, but there are differences at higher level of uh, languages. Day. Did you get all of those right? If so, it's likely that you have a B1 level. If you want to know with more confidence, take the level test. The link is in the description. Okay, let's try B2, upper intermediate. This is where it starts to get really challenging. Number one, he have said that to you, but at least he apologized. Which should it be? He shouldn't. Shouldn't, shouldn't. Option B, option B is the right one. It should be B. Shouldn't. He shouldn't have said that to you. The starting questions are easy, but, but the last questions, are, the Two. last one is difficult. Choose、though. the relative clause in this sentence here. Bro, wait, wait, wait. The new manager who moved to the country three three years ago implemented too many new changes in his first week. Implemented. Too many new changes in his first week. Okay, implemented too many new changes in his first week. Clause. What? What is the meaning of clause? I don't even know what is clause. Can we? I can I search, bro. I I want to search what is meant by clause. I because I don't know. Clause meaning one minute. One minute. Clause is a group of words that include a subject and a verb. And forms a sentence. Okay. Uh, subject. Here the subject is a new manager, right? And a verb. I didn't get the question only, right? I I think no related, no relative clause. Maybe. 
because look the implemented too many changes because option a is only verbs right because there is no subject option b is also no 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 ek minute one minute i think option b because who who here can be subject can be considered as subject i think i don't know but yeah option b or option d let's go option b because d mm, 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 d looks suspicious <laughs> it looks sus let's go option b option b it should be b who moved to the country 3 years ago Good and number 3 choose the correct sentence bro the always the question number 3 is only uh mati khato it's out of these four okay ek minute if you had if you had learned the lyrics you would be singing in the chore chore bro my english is bad if you had learned the lyrics you will be singing if you had learned If you learn the lyrics, you will sing. You will sing. If you hadn't, if you hadn't learned the lyrics, you would. If you hadn't learned the lyrics, you... option D is incorrect, right? Because yeah, option D is incorrect. A, B, C. Uh, if you had learned, you will. Uh, option i think option b if you learn, if you had learned the lyrics language change if you manje jar tu lyrics shiklas tar tu tham mala i need to find the meaning of this word my, my vocabulary is bad uh, that meaning is uh, an organized group of singer acha okay manje band band you would be singing you will be singing if you had learned the lyrics you would be singing if you you will be singing you will sing in the you will be singing you would be singing. i think option b let's go with option b don't like uh, don't overthink much just go with the option b option b it's a if you had learned the lyrics you would be singing in the choir did you get all of them right yeah that makes sense option a should be right so. if so it's likely you have a b bro there's always the third question level, which but has all which which i get wrong guys if you want to know for sure you can take the more in depth test the links in the description okay it's time we right. move okay let's check further move on to the advanced levels the c levels we'll start with c1 number 1 okay. after 9 years of marriage hmm. we decided to get a divorce but we separated what should it be on good terms option b it should be b on good terms we separated on good terms number 2 we have developed several new for market research to streamline our ongoing tham tham wait wait we have developed several new criteria criteria analysis analysis ongoing analysis what is the difference we have developed several new criteria 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 we have developed several bro several means plural like there are more than one right so criteria is that a legit word i don't even know is criteria is even a word i don't know what is the plural form of criteria mm. criteria analysis criteria and analysis I don't know what is what does what is the difference between A and B analysis and the C and D analysis. I thought there is a spelling mistake, but maybe these words have maybe no they should have different meaning. They have different meaning, bro. I think we should go with A or C. I don't know, bro. Let's go with criteria because I don't see this analysis much. I have I don't even remember this word. 
but we have seen this analysis many times like in our studies also so i think c option Which let's go with be? andaz let's go option c let's go option c it should be a criteria uh, and analyses we have developed several new criteria to streamline our ongoing I, analyses and number three which of these sentences this uses is... the passive perfect infinitive correctly what <laughs> i don't get only what is she saying al aler aler al alejandro should be informed this channel should be informing should be informed should be informed informed of these changes and should he eh? should have and should have been informed should be informed should have been should have been informed i think option a should have been informed should have been bro at this point all options looks correct or except c but like they all are kind of similar but one is correct i think we let's go with a option option a it should be d alejandro should have been informed of these changes did you get all of them right if so it's likely that you speak english to a c1 level as always if you want to know with more certainty then take the free level test the link okay, is in the description the next one is final. let's move on to our final highest level proficiency level c2 number 1 his lack of and general unhappy nature Karishma Charishma eh his lack of dash and the general unhappy nature of contrasted sharply with the extreme composure and humor of his brother bro the first thing is the four option there are four words and i i don't even know the meaning i have heard the fourth one uh quite but i don't know the meaning e face i don't know the earth there what is that called and c1 is charisma contrasted sharply with the extreme composure and humor know. of his brother which should I, it be i can't answer this bro but let's take a wild guess let's go with charisma it should be c charisma <laughs> charisma extra points for What? correct pronunciation charisma number 2 which idiom could replace the underlined portion of this sentence okay uh it wasn't like jam jam to not fulfill a promise to not fulfill a promise okay to not fulfill a promise uh face the music go back with his what not fulfill the get out of hand not fulfill a promise but it had been two weeks we are still waiting on the shipment of torus torus and we are supposed to say uh not fulfill a promise This is difficult, bro. I don't समझ आता है पटना. Go back with his word. Let's go option B. Option B. Option B. It's B. To go back on his word. To go back on his word. To not fulfill a promise. And number three, the department head of finance assured me that this matter, as quickly as possible, would be. Bro, uh, at this point, I don't want to answer. I don't want to think of the correct answer. I would tell my strategy to answer the MCQ, which I use to andaz. Okay, language switch. So, nay, tar, tar. Ithe scene ka sa hai baga. Me option ka she me MCQ ka sa karto maite ka manje probability ka she find karto maite. Ata baga ithe option A ani D mathe would ne start kere na would W wala would would. तर मग त्या दोघांना जास्त प्रोबॅबिलिटी आहे बरोबर शूड आणि कुड पेक्षा वुडला जास्त प्रोबॅबिलिटी दिली आपण ठीक आहे म्हणजे ए आणि डी बाकी दोन पेक्षा जास्त पुढे गेले ठीक आहे त्याच्यानंतर नेक्स्ट वर्ड बघायचा बी 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 सर्वांमध्ये सर्वांना इक्वल त्याच्यानंतर तो तो आहे तो डेल्ट डेल्ट पहिल्याच्यामध्ये डेल्ट आहे मग डिलिंग आहे मग डेल्ट परत एकदा आहे मग परत एकदा डिलिंग आहे 
म्हणजे इक्वल इक्वल आहेत ना पण जो वूड नाही थांबा इक्वल आहे इक्वल त्याच्यामध्ये पण इक्वल झाले त्याच्यानंतर लास्टला विथ आहे विथ तर मग ऍक्च्युली इथे ना इक्वल आहे ए आणि डी ला जास्त प्रोबॅबिलिटी आहे दोघांमधून एक असू शकतो नाही नाही हा दोघांमधून एक असू शकतो थांब आता जरा आपण सेंटेन्स पण बघू ना द डिपार्टमेंट हेड ऑफ फायनान्स अशोर मी दॅट हिज दिस मॅटर्ड वुड बी डेल्थ विथ वुड बी डिलिंग एस ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन डी इट शुड बी वुड बी डेल्थ विथ would be dealt with did you get all of those correct if so it's likely that you have a c2 level or you are a native speaker although i assure you more to shit i hope we have ha theek hai evda motha video jhala baap re evda time jhala bhai jam time pass kela oh sorry sorry we did uh, the video has gotten too long bro I didn't expect like the video will get this long 26 minutes bro we have to end the video right now because nah, no actually we cannot we should uh, if we didn't end nothing will be wrong because nobody is watching till this because who is interested uh, doing who is interested watching me giving the english test and watching this much uh, how who has that time bro okay if you have the time comment down a 6 by 6 i didn't i don't know how to solve this case i know actually i know before but i forgot so comment down 6 by 6 if you are watching till this and we will try to improve our english for sure and uh, this is just a beginning but we know decent like we know a to level right uh, but actually we have answered many of the upper levels answer also but I don't know somehow the third questions got get me and I just mess up that thing uh, like watching English videos on YouTube giving me the confidence of speaking English but actually if we want to improve English we need to do it more systematically I think because uh, the thing is we also speak Hindi right in our home Hindi Marathi <laughs> Hindi Marathi tar so the thing is we actually also don't speak i think perfect languages right because in our gaon we we speak like some gaonthi bhasha also like not the perfect marathi like alta gelta we just we are use this kind of word but it's normal like to our like to us right but uh, giving language exams or uh, actually improving language at that level needs practice obviously we can't like achanak se kuch bhi ho jayega so yeah this was just a random video i had a thought let's take a test and yeah uh, so fine if you are watching till this i think you should also do some practice of languages because language is somewhat which will help you in our in your future maybe like imagine you got into company for a job and your company want to send you to america america bhai america bhej rahe tumko to fir then you must know english right because you can't go uh, in america america and say yo bro eh. you can't say hi bhai kaisa chal raha banta hai kya bolta bachchi so yeah you need to speak english like you want to say what's up dude what's up my bro this kind of stuff is necessary in usa you should go it you should go north versus uh, there are many time pass so the video is getting too big i think we should stop here okay bye good night and uh, bye